If your favorite thing about aviators is the mirror, stick around, I have some recommendations for you. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about our lineup of our best mirrored aviator sunglasses. Really when it comes to mirrors, I mean, that's the lens. It's a lens feature. So all of these are available with some cool mirrored lens options. If you do need prescription, because all of these are available in prescription, there is a mirrored option available. That is a lens feature. You should have familiarity with this. I shouldn't have to get too deep in the weeds, uh, but just understand that that is a lens feature that is available. Uh, when you look at these options, usually there are different colors available. Some might not have a mirror coating, uh, some of the different color variations, the colorways, but uh, there are definitely a good amount of options with all of these frames on the table here. So I'm gonna go over the different frame options here, what they have to offer, let you know what to expect out of them. Ideally, you'll have a much better idea as to what is right for you at the end of this. Uh, if you are ready to order, by the way, at the end of this, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. <laughs> you have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. Even if you get them in prescription, we'll take care of you no matter what that means. You just reach out to us and we do all the work from there on out. Really just a, a stress-free way of ordering online. A few things I do want to go over before we get into picking the right aviator for you. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. So what you want to look for in an aviator, of course, is lens shape. There are many aviators. It's kind of a, a frame shape or a frame design category, uh, and it is not a frame design specifically. All of these guys here, as you can tell, actually do have more of that kind of teardrop traditional aviator frame shape. However, they kind of offer a little bit of different features, especially this guy I think is the most different from the others on this table, but there are other aviators out there in the world that are quite different actually, that don't have that same teardrop shape design, but are still considered aviators. And so understanding what lens shape you like, what lens shape works best for your face shape and your just personal aesthetics. Sometimes this shape can be a little tricky if you have higher prominent cheekbones, for instance, you can still get an aviator look with a shallower lens actually, or more of a square lens shape. Another thing to keep in mind is adjustability fit features, things such as adjustable nose pads, flexible temple tips that are also adjustable or non-adjustable, or are they adjustable, aren't they adjustable? Uh, different things to keep in mind, knowing how frames tend to fit you and what you're used to dealing with when wearing sunglasses. Those are things to keep in mind because the, the feature ranges and the design ranges are pretty vast. Uh, and so keep that in mind for sure when you're looking at the different frame designs. All of these are pretty simple, I would say, uh, but we'll talk about that and the each frame specifics. But if you go beyond these ones, those are things to keep in mind. Another thing is fit. There's the SFW, that's what we use the Sporter X frame with. That is something that's gonna help you to know what to expect in terms of practical fit when you're looking at something online. That's not something that uh, it really exists anywhere else. You're gonna find just frame measurements and frame measurements aren't a good representation of fit. That's actually not even what they're for. When you see eye size, so 55 eye size, 58 eye size, it gives you an idea, but it doesn't give you a good representation of fit because there are so many other different design details in a frame that can affect the actual practical effective fit on your face. And that's what we try to take into account on SFW. If you want more information on that, we do have a video specifically explaining it and going into details, you can check that out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna talk about these frames. First up, we have an Oakley. This is the split time. I think it is the uh, the boldest on this table. It is definitely the one that is, though it still boasts kind of that classic teardrop design, it is a, a big departure from your typical aviator. It is more of a performance aviator. No surprise coming out of Oakley. They have a mixed composition frame, which is O matter on the frame, uh, the temple tips, and in this kind of the, the lens 
cup. I don't know what you would call it. The, it. It is something that the lens pops into and then that actually goes into the frame itself. And the rest of this frame is made out of their C5 metal alloy, which is an ultra lightweight, very, very comfortable frame uh, material and frame build all the way around. A lot more material, uh, cosmetically, aesthetically, as you're gonna find in this. It's a lot bolder. I think it's very cool. It might have a little more of a feminine bent to it, I think, perhaps, but I don't think it's so much so that if you're a man and you're thinking that looks kind of cool, that you should feel self-conscious about wearing it, because I think it is actually a, a pretty good across the board, it'll fit anyone, work for anyone, frame design. They do have unobtainium rubber nose pads. This piece right here, I really, really like. I like this nose pad design. It's a little more of a saddle bridge design, which means you have more surface area, uh, which is going to help disperse weight a little bit better, make it a little more comfortable on your nose, but also more surface contact, which means better grip. I really like this nose pad design and I'm glad that they have incorporated it in this frame style. More of that oversized and rounded pilot lens shape. This is a little more unique because of that, what I call lens cup. And what they actually did here is they, uh, even though it is a flatter lens, it is more of a six base lens curvature. They, in this lens cup, I should have a different name for it. I just don't know what they call it. Uh, they built in a little bit of a side shield as well, which is very cool. Gives you a little more uh, protection against light leakage coming in from the side more than your typical flat uh, aviator for sure. The lenses are available with Prism, both in prescription and non-prescription. Thank you so much, Oakley. It has an SFW of 132 millimeters, which gives you a medium fit for a man and more of a medium kind of working on large fit for a woman. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about aviators or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable Sporter X opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more aviator frame reviews, unboxings, prescription aviator content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have the Costa South Point. This is a classic aviator design coming out of Costa, but it is a beefy boy. <laughs> It feels very substantial and there's a lot of material all the way around it. I know it definitely feels especially beefy because they put their glass lenses in this pair, uh, which is always going to increase weight. If you are familiar with Costa, then you probably have some familiarity with glass and what to expect out of it. But if you're not, glass is really nice. It is optically fantastic. It is the most scratch resistant thing you're ever gonna come across, but it's heavy and it's not impact resistant at all. If you were to accidentally drop them, they can crack, they can shatter, and they are kaput. You can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Uh, outside of that, really, really solid frame. I like the South Point. Uh, again, one of the things you'll notice first and foremost is how substantial it feels in your hands. They put some of their performance spin on this classic, classic aviator design uh, with their Monel frame construction, the corrosion resistant and lightweight hinges. Another thing to note that is quite unique on this frame and uh, distinct from all the other ones on the table, this has an eight base lens curvature. So if you're looking for something with more of a wrap design, that is actually very tough to find in an aviator frame design. And so do keep that in mind. If you like a good wrapped lens, this is an eight base. On the temple tips, they do have their grip material that is hydrophilic, which means it actually grips better even as it gets wet. Really solid style. It is gonna stay on your face really with no fuss. Adjustable nose pads, of course. With an SFW of 133 millimeters, this lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. Next up, we have, of course, the absolute classic, the pinnacle of aviators, the Ray-Ban RB3025 Aviator. Uh, I mean, you can't avoid, if you're talking aviators, you can't avoid this. This is the beginning of aviators, I believe. This was designed in 1937, continues to be the iconic aviator look. I bet that this is the frame style that most people are thinking of in their mind when they think of an aviator. Very, very lightweight construction, very, very lightweight in the uh, in terms of the, the aesthetics, the cosmetic cosmetically, because the frame is so low profile, the real, it's really all lens. When you look at this frame, the thing about it is lens. If it didn't have such a bold lens, 
this would be a very low profile frame because you have very thin temples, very thin metal all the way around the lens. You just have that big honking lens. Really good style. Uh, this is available in non-prescription with glass lenses. So I am holding a pair that has glass lenses while I'm saying lightweight and I'm holding these in my hands thinking that these feel kind of heavy, but it's because of the lens material, the frame itself is actually incredibly lightweight. Uh, I mean, not much to say about this frame. It's, it's, it is the classic. If you're looking for just, I want to get the most classic, timeless, forever, it's going to be cool. This is, you can't miss with this at all. So when it comes to sizing, I am showing you the 58i size. This is available in both a 55 and a 62i size. So a smaller option and a larger option. Uh, we are focusing on the 58 because this does tend to be the most popular, tends to fit the most people. That usually is the case, something that's right in the middle. With an SFW of 136 millimeters on this eye size, it lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. Next up, we have a big favorite of mine. It is a Maui gym frame. It is called the Mavericks. Uh, I mean, I will say it. If you want something that is the classic look of the Ray-Ban, but you want absolutely top of the line, top tier in everything, then you go for the Maui Gym Mavericks. It is an amazing frame. This does feel crazy lightweight. It is very low profile all the way around. Yet again, a little more durable uh, and beefy in the lower bridge. All of these have a double bridge, but the lower bridge portion on this is a little bit beefier than your typical 3025. Uh, and I think just for some reason feels, even though it's so similar in its construction, there's something about Maui, the way that they're able to make things feel a little more refined, just a really, really great aviator style coming out of Maui Gym. If you are familiar with Maui Gym, of course you're familiar with their lenses. That polarized plus two lens technology is incredible, really top of class. You can't say enough about that lens tech. And you can get that in prescription too, by the way, the polarized plus two tech is amazing in prescription, just the same. So thank you, Maui, for taking care of us prescription wearers. And with an SFW of 136 millimeters, this lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. I find that to be a really good, uh, right in the middle fits most people pretty well size. And last but not least, we have the Smith Layback. Really good option coming out of Smith. I mean, again, really straightforward. I think this is, Probably the largest lens, maybe, I don't know. They all feel pretty big, but such a big lens in the layback. This guy does have a lightweight metal frame with classic pilot lens shape, rubber grip on the nose pads, of course, for extra grip, and it is available with a handful of mirror lens options, tons of prescription lens options, of course. Uh, it is the biggest frame in our lineup. It is the only one that has spring hinges, which, take it or leave it. I usually am a little nervous about spring hinges because it can be the first thing to break just because of the smaller parts in there. And if you're like me and you have a nervous tick and you do this a lot and you stress it, it can break. So do keep that in mind. Uh, it is something that really unfortunately can't be fixed. So that's why it usually irks me a bit, but still a great frame coming out of Smith. And with an SFW of 142 millimeters, this lands you at a men's or women's extra large. That wraps it up for our top picks in Aviator Sunglasses with Mirrored Lenses. Again, just remember, there will be a number of different mirrored lens options available for these in non-prescription, but of course, a much wider range if you need prescription. If you have any questions, we are always happy to help. You can always reach out to us. You can leave comments in the comment section down below. If you like any of these styles and you're ready to shop them, stick around for just a moment longer. We'll have a quick and easy shop now button for you. Uh, and if you are ready to order again, don't forget about that see better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind and if peace of mind is your thing, then our opticians would love to help you. That's peak peace of mind, I think. If you're looking on the scale range of how much peace of mind can I possibly get? Peak, call our opticians. Throw us a like, please, it helps us. You can find relevant videos over here. If you are ready to shop these awesome styles, you can click this button right here. And also, if you're looking for cool content that's fun, interesting, and exciting, you should check us out right here. I think you would like us on our social media accounts. If you like this, you very well may like that. I mean, why not? Check it out. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it.